Hey, what's up? Good to see you here. So in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to run Linux on your Android phone. There are many applications which lets you run Linux on your Android phone, but we're going to go with the easy one. Okay, so this is going to be the easiest way to run Linux on your Android phone. So let's begin the tutorial. So to run Linux on your Android phone, the easiest way we will need two applications. First, user land and second, bvnc free. The second application is optional. You can use any VNC viewer. This is just a alternative of official VNC viewer. You can choose any VNC viewer that you want. So now open user land application just like that. And this is how it's going to look like. There is a category. Okay. There is a distribution category. There is a browser, desktop, development, game, math, office. So distribution category is the one uh, which will lets you install Linux distribution, Linux operating system. So you can choose from Alpine, Arch, Debian, Kali and Ubuntu. And there are some applications list which you can install by one click. And there is also a desktop environment which you can use. There is a LX, DE and XFCE. So now let's begin with how to install a Linux distribution or Linux operating system. So choose whichever you want under the uh, distribution category. Okay, so let's say you want to run a Ubuntu. Just click on that. And after that, set up your username, password and VNC password. And make sure that VNC password length is at least eight uh, words. Okay. And once you have set up the username, password and VNC password, click on continue. And in this option, we need to choose VNC and click on continue. And now it will download and install uh, the Ubuntu. That's what we have chosen to install. You can install any Kali, Debian, Arch, or Alpine, whichever Linux distribution you want to install. So it will take some time. It will download the file from the internet and then it will open the Linux operating system. It will take few minutes, so you just have to wait. Okay, the distribution is downloaded and installed. Okay, now it is going to automatically connect you to the BVNC application. You don't need to type any password or anything like that. But if you use another VNC viewer application, then you may have to type the password for the VNC. So using it on landscape will be better. So there are some controls and whatnot. Okay, let's just talk about this uh, later. So first, as you know, we installed Ubuntu, but where is the desktop environment? Where is the, uh, you know, the look and feel of desktop? So actually by using this method, you can install a basic uh, distribution only. There will be no uh, desktop in environment installed. So if you're a expert user, you can use this terminal to install desktop environments and you can set up a Linux distribution or Linux OS. So if you're expert, easy peasy. But if you're not expert, uh, this is going to be a trouble because that's all you get by using this method. So if you're an expert, you know what to do here. Okay. But if you're not an expert, then let me show you how to get a desktop environment. So it will be easy for a new people to use Linux. So I'm going to disconnect this and I'm going to go to the uh, user land application again. OK, and from here, I'm going to stop this distribution by long pressing on it. OK, now I want a desktop environment. I can either install a LXDE or XFCE. They both look the similar. We don't have many choices on desktop environment. We can only install these two desktop environments. So here we just have to choose which uh, desktop environment we want to use. We only have two options, as I said. OK, so let's say I want a LXDE desktop environment. So I'm just going to click on that. Again, we have to set a username, password and VNC password. So once you have set up your password and username, click on continue and again select VNC. OK, and hit continue. Now it's going to download a required files from the Internet and install it. So you just have to wait a few minutes. Now it says starting service and it will automatically open this into BVNC viewer. OK, and it will run a 
uh, terminal commands automatically you don't have to do anything so you just have to wait the process to complete uh, it will take few more minutes so you just have to sit back relax and maybe have a water yeah i'm gonna have a water now. okay after 10 to 15 minutes depending on the speed of your phone uh, it will say something like this stop and restart the app in user net okay so now you need to disconnect this and go back to user land okay and long press on lxde or xfce whichever you have installed in my case it's lxde and i'm gonna stop this just like that and i'm gonna click on lxde again which will again open the lxde desktop environment or basically the Linux with LXDE desktop environment. Okay, so now here you can see that this is running a LXDE desktop environment uh, with Debian. Yes, uh, LXDE is now installed on top of the Debian uh, Linux. Okay, so let me actually change the input mode to simulated touchpad so I can do and drag and drop like a mouse feeling you know so here you can see this is a linux it will be better if you can use a mouse and keyboard just plug mouse and keyboard to your phone i don't have any accessories for that okay <laughs> so i'm just gonna have to use my hands okay or fingers yeah <laughs> so here we have the full-fledged linux running inside our android phone okay there is a Firefox, uh, let's see if the internet is working or not. So, bigger the phone, better the experience will be. Okay, this is like a 5.7 inch phone and looks very small, but you can actually zoom in into the operating system itself if you find anything difficult to touch. Okay, so yeah, looks like the internet is working. Yes, there is the Mozilla. Uh, privacy uh, Firefox <laughs> website okay so I'm gonna close that out so now I don't need to tell you guys how to use Linux okay there are a bunch of tutorials just in case if you are absolutely new okay so this is that now let's just talk about the application itself this is running inside a VNC viewer so this is a BVNC viewer but if you use another vnc viewer then you know settings may be different but just click anywhere on the screen which will bring some controls such as keyboard you can use keyboard if you need to type just like that which will bring a keyboard if you click on that if you click on the three dot menu here you can change uh, input mode scaling you can set it to zoomable which will be default actually and you can uh, set it to fit to screen now you won't be able to zoom in better if your screen is big and you don't want to zoom in and there are some other options too now disconnect it and let me just talk a little bit more about this application itself okay there are some applications and games that you can install by just one click okay you can install any of the listed distributions there is a game inkscape LibreOffice. if you want to use them you can also use them it will automatically install once you click on them okay so that's that so this is the app section here you can find all the things that you can download and there is another section called sessions here you can see all the installed uh, distributions and from here you can launch you can edit and delete the distribution if you need to so last one is the file system here you can manage uh, all downloaded uh, files for Linux okay so if you want to completely remove all the files that user land uh, has downloaded you can just long press on it and you can delete or if you want to export you can also export so this is how you use it easy peasy and as I said there are many other applications which can do the same thing but uh, in my opinion this is the easiest application to use and this is the easiest way to run linux inside your android phone so that's it hope you enjoyed it i'm gonna put link in the description for all the applications that i mentioned you can go there download them 
and enjoy Linux on your Android phone. That's it. I will see you in the next one. Take care of yourself and have fun. Bye-bye.